What is going on guys, it is Murph from Josh and Murph and we have a little bit of a different video today. Uh, no camera on the face right now as you can see because I am looking at my beautiful Corsair K55 keyboard. Um, the only issue I've had so far with this thing is how dirty it is. Yeah. So what I want to do is I want to clean this thing up. Um, I'm getting a new mouse pad today. It's gonna go under this. It's an extended RGB mouse pad. Um, I hate how my mouse pad gets cockeyed and doesn't really fit with everything after a, game, a day of working or a day of gaming or whatever. So I wanna get the new mouse pad. And as I was cleaning my desk area, um, I noticed how freaking dirty this thing is. It's pretty bad. It's almost embarrassing. Well, first of all, let me start by saying I've had this thing for probably almost two years, maybe a, maybe a year and a half. Um, I love this keyboard. It is not mechanical. Um, I do probably plan on upgrading in this sometime future, but it's not necessary right now. I still don't feel like I'm at a disadvantage gaming or anything like that. Um, it's a great keyboard. It's got all these macro keys, which I don't use because when I first got it, um, I was using a keyboard that stopped right here. So I would always, this would feel like this would feel like the edge to me. So I would always, um, hit the macros by accident and at the time I was playing Fortnite and the second I hit one of those macros my keyboard would shut off I'd have to unplug it and replug it back in I don't know if that's just a fail safe or what but it uh sucked for sure so what I actually ended up doing god it's so gross so I actually ended up rolling up a piece of paper and putting it underneath the uh the keys to um stop me from being able to press them easily and as you can see they actually have gunk build up from never being used I'm, I'm i'm so sorry how gross this is but this is why i needed to clean it and i also needed to film it i did plan on doing this um i wanted to actually get keycaps that, sh that show more of the rgb light so they're cut off right about here and it's uh it's clear the rest of the keycaps i wanted to get those i figured that'd be a good time to clean it but now with, with getting my new mouse pad and this being the only super dirty thing on my desk it's actually really bothering me so i decided to crack it open um i don't have any of the tools that i was gonna use i was gonna use a duster i was gonna use a brush i was gonna use all these things um instead i mean i was gonna use everything the, the proper things to clean this but i need to get it done and i want to film it for you guys now and i don't want to procrastinate so um, I'm just gonna pop it open. I'm gonna get out all the dust. We're gonna clean the keycaps. I've got some um, just some regular Lysol cleaner um, Hopefully I don't ruin this thing. I don't think I will. It's not that expensive of a keyboard. It's only 50 bucks, but Yeah, let's uh let's crack this baby open. I anticipate this being pretty uh Before I do this actually guys, um probably smart if I took a picture of my <laughs> keyboard layout I mean, obviously, it's a pretty standard keyboard. I've been using keyboards since I was like, I don't even know how young. But um, the only the only thing is that I feel like I would probably mess something up. I feel like I would mess up these, maybe, maybe the order of these. So I just want to take a quick picture. I'm actually going to start using these macro keys, so I'm going to leave them out. This is already hurting my fingers. Oh, look at this. Look at this. So it might, it might look a little abrasive because I'm using um, scissors, but it's really just a device to get under there and then turn. You can't see because my hand's in the way, but I go under. Oh, did not mean to do that. I just go under. Oh, this might be the funnest way to do it, guys. We might have figured it out. We might have figured it out. Oh, nope. That was the first official one to fly across the room, so we're going to stop doing that. But yeah, just under, turn. Oh, you got to have a little bit of leverage, though. Whew. Wow, okay, so that didn't really take that long, but look how this thing looked. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ.
So now that we got the whole thing taken apart pretty much, I'm not gonna take apart these keys. I don't know how easily they come off. I don't use them, but I don't really wanna mess with them. The first thing I wanna do is just honestly blow this thing out. And my previously clean desk is no more. <laughs> but hey, already it looks a lot better, not gonna lie to you. Not gonna lie. But now we gotta get now we gotta get down to the nitty gritty, literally. Oh, I went upstairs to get some Q-tips, guys, and this came in. Ta-da! This is probably gonna look great. We will be able to uh, check it out underneath this when we are done, and we'll do a full review for another video. Listen, guys, I can't get it perfect, but it's so much better. But now I gotta put it aside so I can do the keycaps. Start with the space bar, I figure it makes, makes, makes the most sense. Well guys, about an hour and a half later, we got the whole thing taken apart, cleaned and put back together. And I gotta admit, it looks pretty good. It looks pretty much almost brand new. I mean, it's not perfect. I do have some areas that aren't. 100% but it looks so much better and it's not bothering me most of all so anyways guys thank you for checking out this video i hope you enjoyed it if you like this kind of content and want to see more of it make sure you like comment and subscribe let us know what kind of videos you want to see in the future be sure to turn on notifications so you can get the unboxing video of the mouse pad that we received in this it's pretty dope pretty dope dude